Hello YouTube. Right, it's become apparent we may need to have a talk about mass balancing of uh, aircraft control surfaces and the purpose of it. This is an all-moving tailplane on a Robin aircraft and this is what people refer to as the balance weight which sticks out in front of it on a long tube. And it seems that quite a lot of people, including some pilots, believe that the purpose of this balance weight, because it is called a balance weight, is to balance the weight of the stabilizer, the control surface, and help the pilot out with control forces and to effect a trim change and to prevent the weight of the stabilizer from pitching the aircraft nose down. It certainly does that, but that is by no means its primary purpose, and this is important. So, what is its primary purpose? Let's do a tiny science experiment and have a look. Keep watching. Right, first I need to say a big thank you to the 1,000 of you that finally subscribed to this channel. I assume you don't sleep well. Um, but uh, in the last 10 days, you'll notice I've hit you with some adverts and the £9.73 I've earned, I have invested in some scrap aluminium, a roll of tape and welding rods so that we can carry out a scientific experiment for you, dear viewers. Enjoy. Okay, I've knocked up an airfoil section which represents the stabiliser that we were just looking at on the Robin and these bits of welding rod here represent the hinge points um, on the fuselage, of course, they float slightly when the airplane is flying and they're influenced by the stabiliser, pushed up and down in accordance with the pilot's wishes and his control inputs. So we'll get some airflow over this and see what happens. All right, you can see there is an oscillation beginning to build up here. It's called flutter. And what happens when you pass air over a control surface which is unbalanced in the sense that its center of gravity is too far behind the hinge line or the pivot point. Right, I'm going to try now to attach something here which is going to move the center of gravity of this airfoil section forward towards the hinge line, towards the pivot point, in the same way as the mass balance does on the stabilator that we looked at at the beginning. See what effect it has on the oscillations. I'm going to have to use both hands and do something a bit better than this. I'll bring you back. Right, so as I get some airflow going over it, it is just barely trying to oscillate. I'm not sure if I've got the center of gravity far enough or close enough to the hinge line but it's trying to oscillate and then dampening itself so we're close I might need to add a little more mass to the mass balance yeah just trying to oscillate and then damping itself let's add a little more mass balance All right, so I've added a little bit more mass there. All right, now we are pretty stable. I, I think that some of that movement you can see is just because it's a bit springy and I'm moving the blowgun around. Even if I get quite close with a strong airflow, that's 150 psi there, it is not fluttering as such. That is a usable control surface. So, proves the point, I think. Alright, so that is mass balancing and that is its purpose. Pretty much all of these all moving tailplanes will have a mass balance inside. As you can see, the surface is balanced. 
the centre of gravity of the control surface is close to the hinge line. It doesn't have to be right forward, but it has to be closer. If the balance weight on one of these lets go, it's likely the flutter is going to be so destructive it'll destroy the airplane. Um, so that's why there's an airworthiness directive to do crack checks on these tubes quite regularly on the old PA28s. And the Robin, you'll notice, if we go over to the Robin. Right, on the Robin you'll see we've recently cleaned and chromated, removed and refitted this tube. It is an important part of the inspection. I think you can see now from our little experiment, crude experiment, that if anything happened to the mass balance on, on one of these all moving tail planes, uh, we'd have a, a, sub, a substantial and considerable trim, trim change, which would be difficult to deal with, but more importantly, um, the possibility of severe flutter. And the problem with that is flutter can be anything from a mild irritation to severe enough to destroy the airplane. So that's why mass balancing is important and that is its primary, primary purpose. It's not for trim, it's not to help the, you know, pilot out with control forces. You can do that with a tab. Primary purpose is to prevent flutter. Right, I'm just going to run this first bit again because some people will have noticed that when I did the fluttering uh, control surface, my control surface is trailing edge heavy. It's a pretty extreme angle of attack, even though I'm pointing the blowgun down a little bit. And it's probably partly stalled and there may be some buffeting. But when I slowed it down and watched it, I'm pretty confident that what we are seeing here is flutter, not buffeting. It's regular. And if we slow it down, you can see how the control surface is behaving. It's changing its pitch angle, which is having an effect on the hinge point which is creating an unstable condition and, and an oscillation. And that, to me, is flutter, but I welcome anyone's opinion who's more of an expert than I am. Thanks for watching. Good night.